Hey guys, Denise Salcedo here. Today I am on the pink carpet in Venice Beach, California for the season two premiere of Netflix Glow. <laughs> First of all, I love your energy. I love how you're out here. You're so excited to be a part of the cast. I am. Tell me, how did you come about joining season two of this awesome show, Glow? Well, they uh, already established an awesome season one, so I had an amazing blueprint to go off of. So when I got my audition, I just binge watch a couple of episodes to get the tone, to get the feel. And as you know, I'm sure you've probably seen it, the tone is so different. I mean, it's not a multicam, it's not a single cam, but it is something in between and the writing is so clever it's so quirky and unique that it was just um, it, it was it was really really fun to get into so but I auditioned just like everybody else exactly so were you a little bit nervous like knowing that you're going into an audition where a show is established and you know this could really like make it or break it for you what was that experience like for you so at the time glow had a little bit of a slow start all the people who watched it the reviews that of the people who watched it they I mean they loved it but it, it had a little bit of a slow start so now I think it's really when it's picking up so there's so much buzz behind season two and like the fans are are you know we they're responding and they're voicing their love for glow so at the time I didn't know that it was gonna be such um, an impactful show I knew it wasn't it was impactful by watching it but the impact that it has now and I mean the LGBTQ representation this season is incredible and I mean the fact that Liz and Carly mesh I mean they you know they gave me a position to be a Latina in this cast and gave me that voice that was awesome for me so um, there were obviously a little bit of nerves but I just didn't know that it was gonna be like you know this crazy <laughs> Going into it, obviously you're training, you have your character. Tell us a little bit about the wrestling training and how you kind of got into this character. Right, so the wrestling training, they, they train us five days a week for a month. So, right, it's extremely physical, uh, wrestling hurts. Um, it's fun, but it, it hurts. I, I dance, so I'm physical, so I know the difference between dance bruises and wrestling bruises, and they're very different. Yes, um, but just that whole process was such a good bonding experience for me because I was able to see them interact, you know? And it was outside of costume, like not on set. You know, normally when you get cast for a show, you see people on set or at a table read and it's very formal. This was like, I'm in your armpit. I'm smelling what deodorant you have on. You know, you're in between my legs. So it's just very, it's, it's like a bonding. We have to be close after that. So that was really different for me, but such a good experience to get to know them. So now, you know, you said for your audition, you prepared for your role by watching some of the previous, uh, previous episodes. How did you prepare for the wrestling training other than the, obviously the training itself? Did you watch any wrestling at all? So I did a super research on wrestling, but I also had to do super research on break dancing because Yolanda's also a break dancer. So I was watching a lot of Electric Boogaloo, just watching a lot of 80s um, uh, footwork, just just w getting as much knowledge as I could of the 80s. Um, my mother helped me, of course, but I did, yeah, I know, right? Yay, mom. But I did so much research, so it wasn't just the wrestling, but, you know, I had the dancing element as well, and also she's a stripper, so I didn't go to the strip club, but... You know, I definitely looked at videos in the 80s of what they were because stripping in the 80s was different than the stripping now. So aside from the wrestling, I had two other, you know, huge aspects that I've never really tapped into. But I've been dancing since I was three, so it was exciting for me. Something new. So you've definitely had to learn so much for this role that maybe yeah. many, many people might not realize how much you had to learn for this so role. Much. So now also you're a Latina on the show. You're representing the LGBTQ community. Those two, you know, are huge and they're not very represented in Hollywood. What's right. that like for you that you know you're sort of breaking through that mold? Yeah, so I mean, I just feel like Yolanda is not mine anymore, and it's she is totally for the Latina and LGBTQ community. And I mean, I just really hope that she's received well. And um, in the '80s, it was not easy being queer, being lesbian or gay. I mean, it was it was very frowned upon. It's it's not as open as it is now. You know, we're still struggling with having rights and getting married. So to have a character like Yolanda come out and be out and proud is so amazing in the 80s because it was unique. So I hope that, you know, she gives other people courage to just come out and be out and proud. I love it. I am so excited to binge watch. Yes. Like, so excited. Me too. I haven't seen it yet. Awesome. So, Congratulations yeah. on landing this role. And Thank it was very you. nice meeting you. And I cannot wait to see Yolanda Yay. kill it. Thank you so nice much. Nice meeting you. Take care.